feminine energy. It is being, it is receiving, it's accepting, light. today. Today I am getting ready to go have lunch with one of my friends so I thought I would just get ready with you guys. I have some new stuff to share. I have some things I've been planning for like this year and I just thought we'll do a little chat. The last little update that I gave y'all is that you know we sleep trained Jonah. My whole life I feel like just changed after we sleep trained. I'm able to have an evening. I'm able to have a little bit of a morning. I stay up like Pinteresting and planning things. And I just feel like I have like a little bit of my life back honestly so i thought i would just i don't know chat a little bit through what i've been planning i have a galentine's party coming up next week so amanda's actually doing a galentine's party too and i told her i was doing a galentine's party first which she's coming to and she still is planning her own <laughs> galentine's party so it's gonna be a lot of galentine's content coming soon from the sisters hers is gonna be so cute she's been telling me about all her plans and i wish i could go to hers too but it's all the way in san antonio my galentine's party the coquette style which is, which is like all the bows and like girly things and just very feminine and romantic that is like really trending and popular right now so i'm gonna get some inspiration from that i feel like a lot of my parties kind of look the same like elena's birthday was all pink and whatnot so i'm gonna try to make it a little bit different and add some pops of red in there i'll put pictures of all my inspo that i've been planning i definitely want to do bows I'm planning to do a little like mocktail. I need to like figure out the exact recipe, but I know I want to use the raspberry rose poppy and just make it really cute and put some bows on the glasses. I got some balloons. I ordered one of those vintage cakes. I invited like all my friends in my hometown and all of our family friends. And honestly, half of it is Omar's family. Mashallah, he has a very, very big family and they all live around us. So I'm just so excited to have everybody over the next thing that i've been planning is ramadan content ramadan is only in a month and a half and i've just learned as a content creator that i need to just stay ahead of that and like start planning stuff beforehand so that i have everything that i need like decor and outfits and all that stuff so i can create content for you guys i have a lot more space to decorate this year and i'm so excited um i think one idea that i have is i'm getting some lanterns to go down our hallway to put on the floor you know our entry hallway with the arches i thought it would be so pretty to put to like line that hallway with some gold lanterns for ramadan and put candles and elena is not really at the point now where i have to worry about her like really messing with that kind of stuff and jonah's not at the point yet where he can mess with it because he's not really crawling yet i may not get to do this next year <laughs> because of jonah but i'm gonna do it this year inshallah i also need like a lot more decor for my dining table and i finally have a mantle to decorate so alhamdulillah i'm so excited to be able to do all that stuff with you guys this year i also need to pick a charity that i'm going to be focusing on i always like to pick one or two charities so that we can all come together as a community this year i obviously want to support palestine so i need to pick out exactly which charity we're going to be focusing on hours and hours of planning goes into all the stuff that you guys see on screen and i've actually had the time to plan because now I have my evenings back and that's like prime time for me to like just get inspired whenever I can have alone time. <laughs> Something else that I also just ordered yesterday are Palestinian thobes. I actually got one for Elena, for me, and I got like little white dish dashes for Omar and Jonah. <laughs> So we really want to take some family pictures like we always do during Ramadan for like my big family photo shoot that we do with my parents and my sisters and stuff. And Amanda and Lauren mentioned maybe doing that wearing Palestinian outfits and we were like, oh my god, that's genius. So I ordered that yesterday. I can link some down below. I got a lot of recommendations for Palestinian dope from you guys. And the prettiest ones that I actually found were actually on Etsy. So I will link the ones that I thought were beautiful down below. Today it just sent me like, I feel like it's their entire line of liquid blushes. I'm so grateful. I'm so excited to try some of these out. Right now I'm going to use the one called Chili. We'll see how this one looks. Oh my gosh. 
that might be one of my favorite blushes that i own let me know what you guys think about the lighting situation here and if you guys feel like you can see the details of the makeup better or if i need a different lighting setup so since i've had more time at night to just do whatever i want and like watch content and plan things and whatever i went down a rabbit hole of learning about feminine energy the last couple nights and i thought i would share it with you guys because i find this topic so interesting and i thought a lot of girls could kind of benefit from it so if you don't know the difference between masculine and feminine energy i took some notes on my phone so i could share them with you guys because i just find this like i said so fascinating feminine energy is i wrote down it is being it is receiving it's accepting light happy positive nurturing creative sure of yourself you're in tune with your emotions it's not being lazy or you know if you're just being that doesn't mean you're being lazy it just means that you are just comfortable with yourself and you are at peace and you bring peace to others so this feminine energy actually like attracts the masculine energy so they are like kind of opposites or they kind of go together if that makes any sense so masculine energy is kind of more of the doing providing action oriented chasing problem solving leadership protectiveness resilience strength logic hustling striving and taking charge those are all the things i wrote down <laughs> i just wrote off my phone so if you are let's say you are single and you're trying to attract a more masculine man because that's just what you want you want someone to like take care of you then exuding those more feminine attributes and that feminine energy can attract that type of man and if you're already married this also applies to us too because you can bring those traits out in your spouse by just exuding more of that feminine energy so i've just been literally learning so so much so everybody has both masculine and feminine energy it's not like you're only one or the other for example like whenever i'm at work or i'm working on something that is more my masculine energy i'm taking charge i'm you know hustling whatever i'm making decisions honestly as a woman that can get exhausting doing that all day but i do like you have to do that in certain areas of your life when it comes to your relationship that's when you can kind of turn on more of your feminine energy and you know turn off the masculine energy in order to bring out those qualities in your husband or your you know potential husband but this honestly doesn't really have anything to do with omar because he is a very masculine man already this is more about myself especially when omar and i work together that's one of the main issues we were running into is like i was so in my masculine energy all the time and i was just always like directing like this has got to be this way like but when it came to our marriage well, it was really hard for omar to like turn that part of our marriage off like and separate that from our marriage basically so now i'm like trying to become more of that feminine soft type of wife that i want to be i don't know much about this topic other than what i've talked to you guys about i'm still working on myself i'm still learning and growing but anyways if you guys have any insight or input or tips on tapping into your feminine energy let me know and if, let me know if you guys want me to talk more about it because like i said I'm so interested in this topic because I feel like it's really great for self-development as a woman. I don't know if I've shared this lip combo with you guys yet, but it's the one I've been reaching for the most and it is Up and Down Tan by Makeup Forever. It's the prettiest rust color. I was trying to remember what this color is. It's rust. You just do the lip liner and the lip gloss. I feel like lipstick nowadays is just, it's too heavy. You know what I mean? Like all you need is just to define and gloss and that gives more of that like, I guess, clean girl look, which you guys are on tiktok or whatever apparently clean girl is out which that is so annoying like i think we should all just wear and do what we like but apparently this mob wife aesthetic is in and it's all about being gaudy and fur coats and jewelry and makeup and perfume and just gaudiness is what i kind of think about it's like kind of the opposite of um clean girl honestly <laughs> definitely not as minimal and i would say just do what you like to do honestly trends come and go you need to find your personal style and your personal like what you like and you can experiment with, with trends if you feel like that kind of still matches your personal style and you're able to work it into your wardrobe or whatever but you guys the mob wife thing i don't know about that Makeup is done. I'm gonna go pick an outfit, but I actually have a bunch of outfits that are kind of new. So I'm gonna try them all on and share them with you guys and kind of do a little mini haul and share with you guys some outfits that 
might be cute for you guys to get inspo from. Now I know I just said you do not have to follow the trends and you just wear what you like. I feel like these really fit in with my personal style. They're more of like the dad sneaker than the ones that I've gotten in the past, but they're so comfortable and I love the neutral coloring on this one. These are the New Balance 530s. My sisters both have, I think the black and white version and they were wearing them during the holidays when they came to visit. They looked so cute with all their outfits. So I was like, okay, I think I have to get them. So I'm super excited. I'm gonna style these for you guys today. I also got a couple of baseball caps and it's so funny because I remember I remember getting like an LA one a couple years back actually because I thought they were really cute and then my husband was like no we don't support that team we support Texas and then I just returned it and I was like whatever but I was like you know what I don't care what Omar says I'm getting them for the aesthetic they're so cute and I see like other creators wear them with their hijabs and they just give off like such an effortless cool vibe okay so here's how I styled the hat and the sneakers I think this outfit is so casual chic effortless it gives off like cool mom energy I love it so much also for the hat I just put my bun down like as low as possible because you really want the hat to be sitting on your actual head It kind of looks strange when your hat is kind of sitting up a little bit. That's how I wore it <laughs> Something else that I've recently been trying to like update is my bracelet stack I have a lot of gold dainty jewelry, but I haven't been wearing my pieces because mainly because I've been lazy And it's just hard for me to get my own bracelets on <laughs> but I love the way that it looks so I have actually made sure that the pieces that I have, sorry I had to adjust, are very easy to get on. So we have this gorgeous faux diamond tennis bracelet that has the same closure as the Hia bracelet. I don't, know if, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's adjustable and it's so easy and it's so dainty. And this is probably one of my favorite bracelets right now and it's so affordable. We have the Hia bracelet, which is no longer available anymore, but it's still one of my favorites. The tiniest one on the very left is actually a permanent bracelet that I got in New York City at Veiled Fest. I actually want more permanent bracelets just because they're so easy because I don't have to think about taking them on and off and then the bangle is actually from a small Muslim owned business called Reeves and it is so beautiful and dainty there's also the matching ring you guys can see the bottom one is also from Reeves and it's so stunning and then the tiny little dainty ring above that I think is Missouri but yeah I've just been much better about actually wearing my jewelry now that I can actually get everything on very easily I think it adds so much to your outfit the next new piece that I got is this chocolate brown teddy leather coat I love my black and white one and I knew that I would wear the chocolate brown one so much this one is from naked fashion but I just feel like chocolate brown is like my color I've been wearing a lot of that recently I always get so many compliments whenever I wear that color I feel like I need to wear a lot more of it so you'll see I actually invested in a bunch more kind of chocolatey pieces I just love how these colors all work together so here is what I'm talking about with more of the chocolate brown and got these wide leg trousers from from Abercrombie in this chocolate brown color and I also got the chocolate brown bodysuit I'm trying to stock up on all my essentials I also just got this cute little brown bag this is Amazon my sister Lauren actually just got the same like style in the Louis Vuitton version and I think it's so cute but I just don't really want to spend that much on a bag like that right now and I feel like it gives the same effect and it matches all the same outfits that I would wear that Louis Vuitton one with also I wore my hijab a little bit different here let me know what you guys think. Instead of bringing this piece around the top, I just tucked it underneath this one. So this part like flows a little bit better, but this is the full look. Okay, the next new thing I got is this cardigan. As you guys know, these cardigans are very on trend this season and I loved these gold buttons. It's from Abercrombie, so it's a little bit better quality and I paired it with some white wide leg trousers in my Samba. You guys probably have noticed that I don't do a lot of like huge hauls from stores anymore. I used to get a few orders a week and like get a whole bunch of stuff, especially on my Instagram stories. And I would share with you guys like all my favorite stuff from that store. And I just don't do that anymore. Like I just, whenever I find something that I like, I just get that one or two things. And I make sure that they're pieces that really align with my personal style. They're things that I would want to wear for years to come. I feel like it's just a really smarter way to shop. And that way I'm really curating my closet and I don't have excess clutter where I have to get rid of stuff like so often. 
often. One of the last things that's new that I got is this trench. I love the fit of this one. I feel like it's a very classic. Still has a relaxed, like oversized, but it's not too oversized. That's the thing. Like it's still very flattering. I have it tied kind of in the back, so it would be even a little bit more slouchy if I did not do that. But it's like the perfect tone. It's not too like orangey or anything. It's just like the perfect neutral trench. It is so cute. And then I just paired it with my black trousers from Abercrombie, the New Balances, the Len bag, and then the Amazon bodysuit. And I just feel like this is so classic and chic. This would also look really cute with one of the hats. Okay, seriously, how adorable is that? So cute. I hope this gives you guys some fashion inspo. Now I have to figure out exactly what I'm wearing today. Maybe I'll just wear this because I'm in it and I really don't feel like changing. But I'll have all of these outfits and all similar options linked down below. I finished up lunch with my friend Nama. She does my facials. Not that I get facials that often, but when I get facials, it's by her. I love talking to her. She's another mom friend that she has two kids and one of them is the same age as Elena. We get along so well. I love her. I'm so good just having some adult conversation, honestly. Now, so I picked up Elena and we're gonna go to the park because it is absolutely gorgeous outside. So let's go. We're gonna go to the park. Yes, we are. We're gonna go to the park. Okay, it's actually the next day, but I had to update you guys on my hijab storage situation. I finally got these rods put in this cabinet here. So this is the solution that I've decided on. It's these tiny little hangers. I could only find this little six inch size from Shein. So I'll link them down below if anyone else is interested but it was the most like aesthetic and just practical way for me personally. There's a lot of other ways I've been researching on how to store hijabs, but I just was really over these pant hangers because these have like little grippy rods and it was just really hard to get off and it just wasn't very convenient. So I'm so excited. I'm gonna be filming a little like reel and TikTok on organizing everything, but it's coming along. I wanted to go ahead and end this video, but before I did, I wanted to say thank you so much to everyone who entered my 1 million subscriber giveaway in the last video. And I want to say congratulations to my subscriber, Dear Golsum. I love all of you guys so, so much. And I'm just so grateful for everyone who watches and I wish I could have sent every single one of you a gift. Um, but anyways, I love you guys so so much and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see y'all in the next one